Hey everybody, how you all doing today? I hope you're all having a good day. So, as you can tell from the title of the video, what we're basically going to do today is there's been an updated version to Streamlabs where it's much easier now to separate your audio from Twitch. So you can separate your Twitch VOD, your audio, so if you want to like play YouTube videos, or whatever, basically anything you don't want to go to your VOD, you can cut out. Whether, you know, it's videos, etc., etc. So, it's been a lot more streamlined now. You don't have to use voice meter. Like in my previous video that I did on this, uses voice meter. So, this is definitely an update to that. So, let's just get right into it. And I'll show you kind of what the thing do. It's a few easy steps. It shouldn't even take that long. And you should be up and running. Okay. Hey, everybody. Well, okay. So, I had to re-record everything again because I noticed when I was watching the video, I was editing it. Some of the stuff just wasn't popping up on the screen. So I was talking, y'all weren't seeing what I was doing. So basically, so we'll go right through this again. So <clears throat> essentially, so basically what's going on with when you're trying to separate your audio. So like if you want to play some, even if it's non-copyright music, but you want to have your music separated from your audio in case like you want to download you know making clips and stuff like that you want to download the clips you want to not have audio because maybe you want to redo the audio behind it maybe you want to put something else if you want to upload it to a short or whatever but this is basically the way that we're going to do this here so you know you see i got my scene this is my main scene that i use when i'm when i'm streaming so you can see i got sources here i've got you know, of course, I got my camera, but then I've got like, okay, Spotify here. So if I play in Spotify music, even used on the non copyright playlist, you can still, you know, still do it this way. So the first thing you're going to do is you got to set up your Twitch VOD. So you'll open up your settings, as you can see right here. I got it open. Then you go to output and you select your, which I can't select here because I'm recording, but you select your Twitch VOD track. Mine set it too, as you can see. So we'll just leave it at that. There's really nothing else you need to do. Like, I mean, you can, you know, set up more of these if you're doing recording or whatever. But for just streaming, if you want to separate your music, your VOD track stuff, set it here. I have it at 2. I think it usually should come at default at 2, but that's it. So from there, we will now go into here. So, and what I did, I just like, you know, I was over here. You just click your source properties. And then you will see everything that is being sent to the stream. So if I was live right now, everything with track two enabled goes to the stream. Anything, well, I, I'm sorry, everything in track one is going to the stream. Everything in track two is going to the VOD. So as you can see, Spotify being deselected. So Spotify will play to the stream, but it won't play to the VOD. And... That's really it. That's that, there's really not much more to doing this. It's you know they've made it a lot simpler on uh, Streamlabs now to where that's really all you have to do is just select your tracks, make sure whatever. So whatever if you're even doing like a you know browser, you don't want the browser audio. <sighs> so even with the browser, so if you don't want that browser audio going into your VOD, you just separate it <clears throat> use it you would just separate it like the others and that would be pretty much it so like here you know like it, as you can see it's separated on Spotify now there's really nothing really you need to do here like okay so you have your global settings here too so you can change it you also do want to make sure you enable the twitch VOD track <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. Like, of course, if you need more tracks, you would just, like, select those. If you need other tracks, like, if you want stuff going other places. But for just just the simplicity of it, like, you know, I'm only using two tracks. Twitch is going to two. You can select whatever track you want it to be. But whenever you're doing it, you just want to make sure that, that is deselected for your VOD. So that's pretty much it. Like, that's all you really need to do is, like, you, you just have to have your source settings. And, of course, I will show you real quick. So if you want to add a source... Like if I want to add the browser, so you always select it this way. Select application audio capture. 
and of course it says beta, but it's okay. It's been working perfectly fine. You just select it. And so anything, like I've already have existing sources from other scenes and stuff, but if you, you know, are selecting something like, you know, you want to do uh, Chrome or whatever, and you select it. Then from here, you just got to select the application itself. Like I don't have Chrome open, so you're not going to see Chrome in here, of course, but anything open, you know, you would just go ahead and select that and... And then it would be in there, like, okay, like, here's Firefox, for instance. So, like, you know, I would add Firefox into there. And then, you know, you can deselect the track. So, any audio coming from that browser is not going to go through. And that's pretty much it. That's really all you need to do. Like, you know, set it up for every single source. So, do, you know, do that source for, you know, go and then go to the application audio capture beta. And do that for every individual thing you want to do. Uh, of course, even, um, yeah, set it up for Discord as well. Like, if you have Discord in your chat, but you don't want the people, like, of course, it might sound weird in the bottom, in my opinion, but if you don't, for whatever reason, don't want them, if for some reason you don't want the chat coming from Discord inside your pod, same thing, you just add Discord into your applications, and then you just deselect it from your VOD. And that's it. So I hope this video helped. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, if there's any other questions, you know, you guys have, like, I mean, it's a pretty still, so, you know, it's pretty simple in the way they've done it now, instead of having to, you know, add third party support and everything, but this is pretty much it. There's really not much else to it anymore. They've really simplified it like you, so you don't need voice meter or anything like that, but I hope it helps. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay happy, spread positivity, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.